On July 9, 2009, a rally was held in Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C. in support of Iranian democracy. VR was there to get an exclusive interview with Yasmin Pahlavi, Crown Princess of Iran, although she does not use that title. She is a graduate of the George Washington University Law School, and she's one of the founders and directors of the Foundation for the Children of Iran. We are talking to the youth of America and the youth of Iran, and I would like to, for you to speak uh, and tell them, uh, you know. You know, as you heard, these young people, they put together an organization because this is a really, really a movement of the youth, as it was 10 years ago, um, as, as she said, the 18th of tier by the Iranian calendar, where the Iranian students stood up for their rights and freedoms were, and were, and were, were um, basically crushed. And uh, we are commemorating that anniversary, but also the fact that um, we haven't given up, the youth haven't given up, the people of Iran haven't given up. And despite the tremendous crackdown and the brutality of this regime, um, young people have not given up, and certainly the women of Iran have not given up. And that's what we are here to support. Can, we, can you talk about that? About why why so many women have, have, have stood uh, against this injustice over there? I think I think mainly because the women have suffered the most in, in, in some respects. The rights of women have been curtailed severely. And so after 30 years of suffering, I think they are standing up for their rights. And um, as one young lady uh, said um, on CNN, as a matter of fact, she was calling it from Iran, she said, you know, the first time they hit me, after that, I wasn't scared anymore. The, the first first blow, I was really afraid. But now that they've hit me, I go back every day because I'm not afraid anymore. And, you know, that's the spirit of, of the Iranian women and the, uh, the people of Iran. They're, they're, we're here. We have the freedom to speak out. We can stand in this lovely weather in this beautiful country and not be persecuted for our opinions. But unfortunately, in our country, that's not the case. Yeah. What would you say to the leadership over there? Yeah. I'd say give it up. It's time to allow true democracy, allow the people to choose their leaders, not handpick the leaders and rig the elections. That's what they've done for 30 years. And finally, the world has lost. Now, the, the Revolutionary Guard and the, and the militia over there are, are attacking the people. What would you tell those? I would say stop raising your hands on your brothers and sisters. It's a real shame. It's a real shame, no matter how much money you're being paid. And I know people suffer there. The economy has been bad. People have been unemployed. There are no opportunities. But that's no excuse to raise your hand against your own people, freedom-loving people. You know, that's it's a terrible shame, and it really breaks our hearts. And I know that the people of Iran are, are turning to the, these messages and saying, why? Why are you hitting us? Why are you not with us? It's... It, the answers are unclear to me, but it's a sad situation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.